Today, I am going to test the brand new laser engraver, the Xtool D1 Pro. This is their flagship model with the state-of-the-art quadruple diode laser module with the optical output power of 20 watts. This is one of the most powerful machines on the market right now. In this video, I am going to review and test it, show you its new features and I will also compare it to the standard Xtool D1 laser engraving machine. I will also measure its true optical power output, do a lot of cutting and engraving tests on various materials to see what it can really do. I am going to put it to the test to see how it performs at laser engraving and laser cutting plywood, hardwood, and acrylic. I will also test how well does it engrave anodized aluminium and even stainless steel. I am also going to measure its laser spot size and compare all the results to other machines I have tested previously. If you decide to buy this machine, you can use my affiliate link in the video description below where I also put my discount coupons. Machine is similar to the standard 10 watt model, but it has some differences. First one is of course the gigantic 20 watt laser module. It is much larger, and it has some additional features. The connector on this module is bigger, since it also has the flame sensor underneath. The machine comes standard with air assist nozzle, but the pump needs to be purchased separately. The Xtool D1 Pro is powered with 24 volt power supply instead of the 12 volt on the previous model. The control board is slightly different as this machine also has limit switches. The assembly instructions are very well written and easy to follow. Just like the standard model, this machine has a very clever focusing system, but it has an additional functionality for lowering the laser head for cutting thicker stuff. First, you focus the laser head with the swiveling arm like on the regular D1 engraver. But then, by releasing this thumb screw, you can additionally lower the laser module about the half of the thickness of the material you want to cut, so the cutting performance will be ideal each time. Very clever and useful design. This laser module comes ready for an air assist system. In this video, I will not use the air assist pump, because I haven't received it yet, but stay tuned for the next video where I will test it to see what difference air assist will make. With the machine, you also get a brochure for various materials and items that you can purchase separately from Xtool. This will give you a lot of ideas for your projects or to expand your business. You can order them in their online store at very good prices. You also get some of the materials with the machine itself. Also, check my video review of the Xtool RA2 Pro. This is the best chuck style rotary attachment, which also works very well with the Xtool D1 Pro. There are a lot of other upgrades available, like extension kit, enclosure, air assist, and honeycomb panel. Link in the video description. You can run the machine with the Xtool Creative Space software, which is very easy to use. The machine also has Wi Fi connectivity and can be controlled by Android and iOS app. But I will use Lightburn software in this video since it is much more capable for advanced use. To make the D1 Pro work with Lightburn, you need to install a Xtool D1 configuration file in the Lightburn software. It is a simple process, and I will leave a link in the video description to a step-by-step -step tutorial. Next, I measured the true optical laser power, and it appears to be even more powerful than specified. Compared to the standard Xtool D1 model, this machine comes with limit switches which come in handy for setting the home position and preventing the machine to hit its mechanical limit. To test them, let's make an alignment test to see if the machine can start engraving on the same exact position multiple times in a row. I start by engraving a word on a small piece of wood, then I manually move the laser head away and calibrate home position again. Then, I engrave the same thing two more times to see if the lines align. The alignment is not perfect. I suspect this is due to the homing speed being too fast and consequently, the machine bounces a little bit when reaching limit switch. 
This could be avoided if the homing procedure would double-check the limit switches, like on the engravers with mechanical switches. Just like the standard X-Tool D1 engraver, the Pro version of the machine also uses the most advanced stepper motor drivers which drive the stepper motors with pure sine wave. Because of that, the machine moves very silently. Although the fan in the laser head is quite loud, but it only works when the laser is moving, which is great. First, I did the standard plywood engraving test I do on all laser engravers. Since this machine is by far the most powerful, I couldn't use the same test parameters as for the 10 watt machines because the more powerful D1 Pro burned through everything when using the same settings. I had to modify the pattern again to avoid burning through the material. This time I modified the 10 watt pattern by simply doubling all engraving speeds since this machine is twice as powerful. This is the first machine with 20 watt laser module I have tested so far, so currently you can't directly compare it to similar machines, but I am very happy with its results. Here is how it compares to some other 10 watt machines I have tested previously. Compared to the 10 watt X Tool D1, the pattern of the Pro version looks lighter, but keep in mind that the engraving speeds were twice as fast for this machine. This machine has enough power to engrave very fast. You can compare the results of all the machines I have tested on my website hobbylasercutters.com. Link in the video description below. Next, I engraved the test pattern on black anodized aluminium. This test showcases the engraving precision, laser dot size and shape, and overall laser output power. The main feature of this test is the interval test in vertical and horizontal direction to further evaluate the laser spot shape, as the engraving on anodized aluminum comes out very crisp and detailed, and therefore it is easy to clearly identify the laser spot shape. Compared to other machines, the engravings are very balanced in both directions, which means that the laser spot size is almost perfect square shape which is amazing, considered that this is a quad diode module. Let's see the details with a microscope. This machine has a very stable mechanics, very similar to the original D1, despite the laser head weighing much more. There are very little mechanical vibrations, and the engravings are very detailed. The laser spot is a perfect square, sized 0.15 mm. This means its cutting performance will be the same on both axes. This is very impressive. The next test on the list is the focus distance test to see how far the laser beam retains its focus. I start by placing three 3mm acrylic sheets on the laser bed and place the wood board on top. Then, I focus the laser optimally and engrave the text and the first square with 0mm written in it. 0mm is the optimal focus. Then, I keep removing the 3mm sheets one by one, without readjusting the focus to see how the laser beam shape looks further away from the optimal focus. Compared to the original D1 engraver, the X-Tool D1 Pro performs similarly, which is very good news since more powerful laser modules usually perform worse in this test. And now let's see how X-Tool D1 Pro performs at cutting 3mm, 6mm, and 10mm poplar plywood boards. I run the cutting tests at 300, 600, and 900mm per minute, both in horizontal and vertical cutting direction. I will not include clips of all the cutting tests in this video, but on my new website hobbylasercutters.com you will find detailed images and results of all the tests I did. This machine is a monster of a laser cutter, cutting through plywood like butter. I can't wait to test it with an air assist. Subscribe to get notified when I release a new video.
Here is a table of results. Here is how the results compare to standard X-Tool D1 Pro with the 10 watt laser module. Both machines have very balanced cutting performance. Laser cutting left significant amount of smoke stains because I don't have an air assist yet. Using air assist will fix this issue. I also tested the performance at cutting pine, beech and oak hardwood. I also tested the performance at cutting 3mm and 10mm black acrylic at 600mm per minute. It took less than 3 passes to cut 3mm thick acrylic. Then I tried to cut this almost 10mm thick piece of black acrylic. It took only 14 passes for the 10mm acrylic board. This is by far the best result so far. I suspect that with an air assist, this number will be even lower and the cut will be very clean. Stay tuned for a new video. Lastly, I tried two different scenarios for engraving stainless steel. First is directly on the stainless steel and the second is on the stainless steel that I previously blackened with a black spray paint. I used a very slow speed of 200 mm per minute and full power. Direct engraving left a brown residue which could be easily removed with a finger. The engraving is very dark in both situations. This machine can engrave stainless steel with ease and produces great results. Here is how it compares to 10 watt machines and the 5 watt Sculpt on S9. The engravings are very deep. You can feel it with a fingernail. I also had to cut a complicated design from 6mm acrylic so I tried to cut it with the X-Tool D1 Pro. The machine was running at full power for more than an hour and successfully cut the design. The laser head got a bit dirty, so I tried to test the output power again. The output power was heavily reduced. This was due to the lens becoming dirty which is not unusual. I cleaned it with the isopropyl alcohol and measured the power again. The power was again normal. This is why periodical cleaning of the lens is important. You can find a purchase link for this machine in the video description. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.